Rip screens are easy to repair. Here's how to repair an aluminum or a wooden window or door screen. The screen material in an aluminum screen is held in place with a compressed piece of plastic tubing or spline which holds the screen tightly in a channel that borders the screen. To remove the damaged screen, use a small screwdriver or awl to lift the end of the plastic tubing out of the channel. Once you have the end of the tubing, you can pull the entire length of tubing out. With the tubing removed, the damaged screen will lift right out. Using a small brush, clean the dirt and debris out of the channel. Lay new screening over the frame and cut out a new section that extends beyond the required size by at least two inches on a side. With the new section of screen aligned over the frame, trim each corner at a 45 degree angle. This will allow the screen to fit the corners better when held in place by the spline. It's best to replace the old tubing or spline with new tubing when you install the new screen. It will be more flexible and hold the screen firmly in place. The tubing or spline comes in more than one size. Use the size that fits your window. Using the special spline roller installation tool, press the tubing into the channel on one side of the frame, pinching the edge of the screen into place. Follow the channel around the second side of the frame, pressing the tubing into the channel while holding the screen tight. Again, pull the screen tight across the frame and roll the tubing into the channel. If the screen is not tight enough, you can always pull out the tubing and try again. The trick is to hold the screen tight with one hand while rolling the tubing into the channel with the other. The tubing on the corners of the channel can be pressed into place with the tip of a screwdriver. Now, taking a sharp utility knife, cut away the excess screening on the outside of the spline. With the excess screening cut away, your aluminum screen is repaired and ready to put back into the combination storm window. Wooden screen doors and windows require a different approach. Using a small pry bar, pry up the wooden molding or quarter round that covers the edge of the screen. Work slowly and gently so that you don't break the molding. Next, pry up the old staples or tacks that hold the old screen to the frame and remove the old screen. Brush away the old dust and debris that was trapped under the old screen. Next, measure and cut a new section of screen, again overlapping the edges by two or three inches. Staple the bottom edge of the screen to the frame. Now, here's the trick to getting the screen tight. Put a small block of wood under the top of the door or window frame and clamp the center on both sides so that the frame bends by a small amount. Stretch the screen to the top of the frame, and with the clamps bending the frame, staple the screen to the top. Only a small amount of pressure is needed. If you bend the screen too much, the screen will rip out from the tension. Now pull each side tight as you staple the rest of the screen in place. Remove the clamps, and the screen will be tight top to bottom. When the screen is stapled on all four sides, cut away the excess with a utility knife. Now tack the trim back into place. Often you can simply reuse the old brads by tapping the tips of the brads back so they're even with the molding. And then nailing the molding back into place by re-nailing the old brads. If you prefer, you can replace these brads with new ones of the same length. When you've finished reattaching all the trim, your wooden screen is repaired and ready for service.